Today's video, gents, the five rules every man needs to know when it comes to wearing suede. Rule number one, own the look. Now, a lot of guys avoid wearing suede because honestly, they don't know how to wear it. And they may have their excuses. Ah, oh, it's feminine. Or it's not going to go with anything in my wardrobe. Gents, that's a bunch of BS. The reason suede is an amazing fabric is it adds complexity to your outfit. It adds another dimension. It adds texture. So whenever we see things, we see color. We see shapes, we see patterns. You pretty much know this. But did you know when you look at things, you also imagine in your mind what it would be like to actually touch it. Even if you're not gonna touch things, you know that's one of our senses. And so we can we get that feeling. Whenever you see someone wearing a textured piece of clothing, whether it be a sweater, a suede jacket, or maybe they've got a suede pair of boots, you can imagine, you know what, what that would feel like to touch it and it actually creates a feeling, an emotion. And that emotion is huge. Whenever we touch something, whenever we touch somebody, we become closer to them. And that's the power of texture and the power of suede. Is it actually, it can create trust, it makes you more approachable, especially to the ladies. And let's get back to how suede adds complexity to your look. So when you look at the other items you're wearing, cotton jeans, a cotton dress shirt that's actually got a very tight weave, has a bit of a shine to it, a bit of a sheen. You've got a sports jacket that has wool and all of a sudden you bring in suede in on the boots. Now this is something that is different than all the other items you're wearing and what it does is it creates a layered complex look which people find attractive. Commandment number two, thou shalt protect thy suede. So before we go any farther, let's address the elephant in the room, suede and water. You've probably heard that when suede gets wet, it can easily be damaged and the app that suede and water just don't mix. So that's a problem for a lot of guys, especially with outerwear with shoes, because hey, it's gonna get wet. Just look around here. It's gloomy, it's gray, it rained earlier today. And do you wanna wear suede in an environment in which, yeah, you can get it wet and damaged? So what I'm about to show you is pretty darn cool. In fact, it may change your opinion about suede and water resistance, weather safe suede. Check it out. All right, here we go, pouring water on the weather safe suede. Notice how the water just rolls right off. Why? Because weather safe suede is hydrophobic, meaning basically it repels water. All right, that's nice, but how does it work with a light colored suede? Well, let me show you. As you can see, weather safe suede is amazing, and in my opinion, is something you should always look for when you're buying a suede product. Now, gents, all the weather safe suede boots I'm showing you in today's video, you can grab over at Thursday Boots, the sponsor of today's video. Now, I've been wearing and loving Thursday Boots for years because I love what this company is all about. Their mission is to provide men like you high quality boots at an affordable price. They've got a wide variety of styles and they pay attention to quality build. Right here, I've got a pair of Explorers. What I love about these, they've got a Vibram sole. If you're not familiar, that's a really tough sole that you can walk on all day. It's still gonna be comfortable, got a bit of a bounce to it. They've also got a steel shank going right down the center. It's expensive and they put those in there so that it actually bounces back and the boot is gonna last longer. At the laces, they use Kevlar laced laces so that they last longer and they look great. And they've got, like I said, the weather safe suede on here so that you could get these wet, you could be rough with these, and they're still gonna look amazing. Maybe you want something more stylish? Look at their Rogue Jodhpurs. These right here were inspired by riding boots. You can tell by the length of the heel, and this is a great looking style. I just absolutely love the buckle right here. Check out these chukkas in weatherproof suede. Absolutely love this. If you're not familiar with the chukka, also known as the desert boot, definitely this will look great with jeans. And let's not forget about the Chelsea style. What I love about this, if you're a traveler going through security, slip on, slip off, just really comfortable, really a great looking boot. All Thursday boots are Goodyear Welt constructed. Basically, the shoe can be resold and it's gonna hold together under stress and the upper, the material used right up here. They use some of the best leathers you're gonna find out there for shoes. Guys, I'm linking the Thursday boots down in the description of today's video. Go check them out, guys. Use that link down in the description. So how do you protect suede, especially if it's not weather safe or you're not even sure if it's ever been treated? You got a suede jacket, you actually picked it up a few years ago at a thrift store. You want to assume that all suede you own is not weather resistant and treat it. So you can go out there and for a few dollars buy a silicone spray and you're going to want to basically spray your entire jacket, your shoes, your belt, whatever item you have that's suede, you want to make sure to treat it. How often do you want to treat it? If you're going to be wearing it regularly, I recommend at least once a month. Now pay attention, this is important. Before you treat anything, make sure to test in a small area, especially if it's a lighter colored suede item because you could get some discoloring, especially if it's a cheaper product or if it's one not specifically made for suede. Seriously, I've heard horror stories of people using leather mm. polishes, leather conditioners. What you wanna use is a spray that basically is gonna create a barrier on top of the material. 
Now, what about when you get salt stains on your suede shoes or on your suede jacket, you get a mark or something. How do you get rid of it? Your first option is to use a specialty cleaner made specifically for suede. You're often going to be able to notice them because they're going to have a little bit of a brush up here on top. So you'd spray the material on and then you would use the brush to rub out the stain or the mark. So what do you do if you don't have a suede cleaner? Well, you could actually use a pencil eraser to go onto the suede and remove small stains. You could also use just a bit of vinegar and take a tooth brush, preferably one that has clear white bristles and use a little bit of vinegar to remove stains as well. Now, what happens if it's raining outside and you've got your suede jacket on and you didn't treat it? You're worried you're going to get it damaged? Well, just turn it inside out, wear it that way, get into a car quickly. Don't do a whole Jerry Seinfeld and, you know, swallow your pride. It's okay. It's better to save the suede. Now, what happens if you've got unprotected suede and you get it soaked? Okay, not all is lost. It really depends on the quality and type and thickness of the suede. Sometimes it'll bounce right back. But what you may want to do is take that jacket or take those items to a professional cleaner. Basically, they can help take out the moisture slowly because that's where the damage happens is when all of a sudden you've got too much moisture that leaves the suede and basically it dries it out. So the next rule of wearing suede, know your options. First up, we've got the suede jacket. Relatively easy to find, but funny enough, most guys don't pull it off because of all the said reasons. Guys, if you can find a great looking suede jacket, highly recommend you go with it. Next up, you've got suede footwear. Tons of options here. You can go with boots, as I've talked about before. You can also go with something a little bit dressier, maybe a loafer. This one right here, very casual. It's got a perforated leather. I could wear this during the summer. And then right over here, we've got ultra casual suede in a sneaker. Next up, you've got suede belts. Not going to grab as much attention as a jacket or a pair of shoes, but definitely a way to add texture to your wardrobe. You'll also occasionally see suede in gloves, sometimes in vests, and rarely in shirts. I've seen it once. Rule number four, know how to match your suede. When it comes to matching suede, you can bend and break the rules quite a bit here. You don't have to have a suede belt that matches your suede shoes. It's a nice touch, but let's look at the other parts of the shoe here. Notice how we've got a brown, we've even got a little bit of black. I could wear a brown or a black belt with these shoes and be perfectly fine. So what about matching other items in your wardrobe? How do you match this tan suede jacket with everything you're wearing? How do you match these tan shoes, these tan boots right here with everything you're going to be wearing? The answer is you just imagine that it's made from a leather material and you just go forth and match it as you would leather. So anything that matches these boots is going to match these boots right here. What about suede in dark rich colors like olive green or midnight blue? Well, guys, the advantage of suede is pretty much anything that leather is going to match, suede will as well. So dark blue suede, believe it or not, is going to go with a wide range of colored pants, including blue pants. Why is blue and blue going to work? Because of the texture. It's going to create separation and it's not going to look like you're trying to wear a pair of shoes that exactly match the trousers. The next rule when it comes to suede, know when to wear it. Suede is always casual. It doesn't matter the style of the shoe the style of the jacket, if it's made from suede, it's a casual item in your wardrobe. You want to be very careful when mixing it with anything that's business or formal. Now, can it be done? Of course it can, but it's more of a fashion forward look. I recommend for most men starting off, simply bring suede into items that you're already wearing, that you already love, and you add the texture, you add a new layer of complexity to an item that you know that you're going to wear and that's going to fit into your wardrobe, and all of a sudden you're going to start getting compliments on something that most people never really noticed before. So what video to watch next? Well, let's rank casual shoes from the least versatile to the most versatile casual shoes in your wardrobe. Find out what they are by checking out this video. You can click it right here or go down to the link down in the description of today's video.